Ready to go? Hi, I'm Jeff Bender. <laughs> Hi, I'm Craig Bogart. Hi, I'm Tim Bender. Hi, I'm Rosemary Bender. Hi, I'm Ron Asselton. Hi, I'm Grace Elgar. Hi, I'm Dick Lawrence. And I'm Tim Canyon, part of the audience. Hi, my name is Jennifer Ty, and my speech today is Unconstitutional DUI Roadblocks and Sobriety Tests and Why I Think They're Un-American. And the other part of my speech is how we can use our taxpayer dollars with just some common sense amongst ourselves to stop DUI driving. Have you ever been out on a Saturday night and seen some people be pulled over, maybe 12 people on the side of the road, and maybe another 13 cop cars out there? Well, according to the Hardcore Driving Project of 2002, not even 1% of those drivers are affected by alcohol. Our police force could be better used to go be patrolling around getting drunk drivers. I think it's unconstitutional and I think it's against our Fourth Amendment right. According to usconstitution.com, our Fourth Amendment right reads, the right of people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, effects against unreasonable searches, seizures, and being violated. No warrant shall be used or be upon probable cause or be supported by oath. So let's talk about how that is against our taxpayer dollars. It takes 53% of the police workforce to have these DUI road stops, which are ineffective. According to the DMV, or the Motor Vehicles uh, DUI.com, they are allowed in actually 29 states, being Florida and Colorado being one of, one of the two states and among the 29 states involved in this project. They're 20% effective if they stay in place, but once they're gone, the effects diminish. So what can we do amongst ourselves to stop DUI? Well, one of the things we can do is the Air Force, and you can go to airforce.com, uh, sites that they have a wingman program. And if you're out drinking and you've had a couple drinks, and I'm not saying don't have drinks, have a good time. Just be responsible, use common sense. If you had a couple drinks and you need to call a friend, the wingman program, I use it myself with my friends and, and my boyfriend. We call, we pick each other up, and that way we have no, no chance at all of being picked up for a DUI. Another program we can use is a designated pro, uh, driver program. A lot of restaurants give free soda, coffee, water to the designated driver. Um, we can also just carry amongst in our, in our or wallets, so I'm going to hand these out to each and all of you, is a local cab company. Carry it with you in your wallet. Program it into your cell phone. That way, you think it might cost $10 or $15, but if you're going to spend the night in jail, your first DUI conviction is going to cost you about $10,000. That's American. On your first DUI conviction, I'm going to go over some of the things that are going to make you really uncomfortable. The fines are up to about $500. If you blow a BAC of, and that's when you, the, the instrument that they use that you, decides whether you're drunk. In the state of Florida, a DUI is defined as .08 or higher. So if you're driving that night and you are pulled over by that sobriety checkpoint, they're going to get you. But if you're not, it's just a waste of our time. But anyway, let's go back to this. Community service, 50 hours. Probation, not more than a year. Jail time, when you get arrested that night, if, you have, if you're out and you're drinking, you're going to spend at least eight hours in jail and up to nine months in jail if the judge decides to. Vehicle impoundment, at least 10 days. Your driver's license is going to go away for at least six months. Again, first DUI, $10,000. Second conviction, gets even worse as you go along. Fines are up to $500. You're going to have jail time no more than, than nine months. Up to 12 months or a year if you're uh, below a 2.0 or higher. Vehicle impoundment, 30 days. You still got to make the car payment, but it's got to go away to an impoundment lot. So, so these are some of the things that we can use to 
to, uh, there's a to stop DUI. If you don't want to be stopped by a roadblock, there is a website you can go to called DUI Block, and they can, you can go ahead and send a text, and they'll text you where all the DUI units are going to be set up that night. So if you don't want to be inconvenienced, if you're not drinking, use common sense. Don't drive drunk. So I've gone over some of the things, some of the problems that we have. I've given you a solution. I've given you some credible sources. And I hope you're going to listen to me because it can be a tis if you don't and you do drive drunk, it can be a diff difference between a ticket and not a ticket. Think about it. It's your choice. Save a life. Don't drive drunk. I'm going to take a drink. I'm over 21 and I'm going to call cab and I hope you do too. Thank you.